ready? I'm ready. One, two, three, go! Higher, lower, lower, higher. Yes! Over here, Alice. Uh, let me explain what happened. Henry, uh, this is Alice. This is Alice, Henry's wife. How you doing? Uh, Henry was celebrating and go <laughs> and he dislocated his shoulder. Oh. No. Uh, so he's not gonna be able to spin the wheel, but Alice is gonna spin the wheel. For him. Good luck. Here we go. You want to say hi to somebody? Hi to my family, uh, my wife, my baby, CC at home. And all my friends watching. Thank you. How about 95? Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> What is good, everyone out there in the blogosphere? It's coffee. Top of the morning. Hope y'all are having a great one, man. You know we got some more news, etc. And kicking it off, man. Price is right. Still on the air. Still going strong, man. Drew Carey looks weird. I don't know what it is, man. You know what I mean? I know a while back he got that get skinny overnight surgery. And listen, I know people got to get that health reasons and everything. But keep it a buck, man. Don't people be looking extra weird after they get that, like, swear my neighbor my bro he got that he went from like 300 pounds to a buck 50 overnight and had that sunken in in a face look going on and then he got fat again man but it's besides the point man uh but then drew carey that's what i'm saying he had that then he got fat again now he's got this feathered camelot haircut going on i don't know he's a funny motherfucker but nonetheless uh our r.i.p bob barker right i think he's deceased man he, he'll always go down in the books as the host of The Price is Right to me, man. But uh, how about this, man? This guy, Henry, turning up, doing his thing, winning the showcase showdown, doing it big, and throws out his shoulder, celebrating. Wifey had to come up and spin the wheel for him, man. And, you know, they gave an update. They said he's okay. He's healing. That's crazy, man. Listen, that's how you know when you're out of shape, man. When you can get hurt doing regular-ish, celebrating, walking down the stairs, you pull your muscle in your leg or, you know what I mean? Just regular everyday-ish, man. As we get up there in age, man, you know, like calling in sick to work. What happened? Oh, uh, you know, I was opening my car door and did it wrong. And uh, I, I, I think I got bursitis in my elbow or something you know what i mean like that ass man but yo that for real though tell me when he um when he came back and wifey had to do the wheel he had this weird look on his face like they shot him up with some painkiller or something back there man but i don't know he won a trip to hawaii and the er y'all then we got a uh, c-mac man i don't know if this is real or not i'm gonna pin a link for you guys go below Go check this thing out and let me know if you think this is real or you think this is cap. Do you see any resemblance? There's some guy out there claiming that he is C-Mac's dad. And he's alleging that C-Mac is afraid of him. He's talking about tell the world how you're afraid of me. Uh, says he wants to do some weird things to him. I'm not even going to repeat it, man. It is, uh, I mean, I know, I think the way he's saying it. I think the way he's saying it, like, he, he he's not necessarily saying, he's he's saying, that, all right, he's saying he wants to pull draws, his draws up the crack of his ass. I don't know. I don't know if that, like, I don't know, man. I don't think a father should say that to his son, but I don't know. Is this guy telling the truth? Is he just looking for some viral fame? Click the link, watch the video, come back, comment, let me know what you think, y'all. Things get worse for Zion, guys. I don't know if you saw a little while back. He has this uh, porn star chick who is out to get at him. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm, my understanding of it is that she was Zion's side piece. And, you know, now she's not happy with that. And she's been, you know, out in them. Uh, she has some receipts to back it up, though. So things can, can get a little messy for him. And that's what she's saying now is she is talking about videos coming soon she wants to expose this guy but for real from my understanding zion you know was messing around on this girl with this girl and you know never made any promises to her or anything like that like she was gonna be his number one but hey when you when you're playing those games relationship wise and stuff like that people got feelings man even porn stars and uh you see she put this tweet out where she says 
NBA. I have X tapes of me and Zion Williamson. Pause. She didn't say pause, but I'm saying pause because I'm reading that. And he also has them on his trap phone. NBA, Pelicans NBA. Trade him now. He doesn't deserve to be in New Orleans. X tapes dropping soon. So this is a situation that's been playing out for a few weeks now. And um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Could this could this ruin his career? You know, um, will, will an X tape leaking out? You know what I'm saying? Will the NBA suspend him or or what? Or do y'all think? You know what I mean? I, I don't know uh, what to make of this. I don't know what'll happen. But uh, yo, you gotta you gotta uh, watch who you're dealing with, man. You know what I mean? Even uh, females and dudes, dudes and females, vice versa, whoever it may be. People got feelings, you know, in it. Yo, comment if you've ever had a situation where you just thought you were having a fling with someone and, um, you know, they thought otherwise. Or even if you thought things were clear and seemingly somewhere communication got fucked up or whatever it may be, you know. But there's a lot of money and fame involved in this whole situation as well. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I gotta be hella sober. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Oh, hell no. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> He's like, we not about to talk about that. You don't want to bring it up. <laughs> And then last on the news, someone else we're talking about image and fame. Their image is all bad, and it's really the only reason for their fame is Krishan Rock. She was on a live there with with uh, Glorilla, and you heard Glorilla say, "Yo." Um, Move the camera. We don't want to see you doing that. She was twisting up some weed. I don't understand why this went so viral. Like, she stayed, like, you know what I mean? It's like, Krishan Rock uh, accidentally exposed herself twisting up on live with Glorilla. You know what I mean? It's not like Krishan Rock accidentally showed the needle or that she was putting some work up in her weed and, and rolling up a, a coolie or something like that. You know what I mean? So... It, it, she was just smoking some bud, but she is pregnant. You know what I mean? So I guess, you know, that's not a good look. Um, what, do, what do y'all think about that? For real, what is everyone thoughts on a pregnant woman smoking marijuana? Are you like, yo, she's a stone cold scumbag. Do you think it won't hurt the baby? Like that ass, I, I want to know. I've never been a heavy weed smoker, but I want to know what the people think about it. I mean, a woman should be staying healthy, taking her prenatal vitamins and all that and getting good rest and uh staying st stress-free and all that when pregnant i think you know but um i i don't know i want to know what everyone thinks about the weed man you know but nonetheless she uh she outed herself rolling the weed up while on live with glorilla for real glorilla said yo move that shorty we don't want to see that you know but uh that concludes it for this one guys sub up thanks for watching i'll be back with some more as always this coffee signing out peace